Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and this video is on this look here. It's a Valentine's Day inspired look. Um, if you want to know how I created this look, please continue to watch. So I'm going to start by using the Morphe palette, 3502 Second Nature. So right now I'm starting with Fire. And I'm going to be using this burgundy shade. I'm not sure what the color name is. But I'm going to be putting this all over my eyelid. So I'm just going to pack that color on until I get the desired shade that I'm looking for. So basically just going over that eye and just blending. So I'm doing the same thing to this eye. So this is actually my first time using this palette. I actually just bought it. And these colors are so vibrant. Like I'm loving this palette already. And the colors that, that's in it is like all like natural colors, like warm colors. So um, I'm going to enjoy using this palette. So basically I'm just kind of like applying the color just below the color that I had before and just kind of blending it. So next I'm using this um, beige color and that's in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm not sure what the name of that color is but I'm just blending the crease color out so I won't have any harsh lines. I'm just blending it out. So I'm going to do the exact same thing to this eye too, just blending, blending that shade out.
it in well. Next, I'm going to be using the Black Radiance um, Contour Palette, and I'm just contouring underneath my cheekbones. Just a little something, something. Now I'm going in with my concealer, my Mary Kay concealer, and I'm just putting it underneath my eyes and all on the spots, dark spots that I have, for that I want a little bit extra coverage. Now I'm going in and I'm using this Mary Kay Translucent Powder. Anybody knows me know I don't mess with no translucent powder, but I just figured that I'll try it on this look. So I'm just putting it underneath my contour and putting it underneath my eyes. So it's just supposed to set everything in, make everything go in place. I have no idea why I put that on my nose because I didn't put anything on my nose. So now I'm just kind of blending that um, powder off, taking it off, kind of brushing it off. Now I'm using the Mary Kay eyeliner pencil or pen. And I just love this thing. It gets it on nice and precise. I don't really rarely mess up. And it's easy to use like if you have a problem with like using like liquid um, liner this is perfect for you all right so now I'm going back in that Jack Jacqueline Hill palette and I'm just getting a little rose color and I'm just putting it into my tear duct and on my lower eyelash line waterline whatever you want to call it just for a little pop now i'm just going back with my contour palette and just kind of um blending out a little bit just putting some color back into my face now i'm using a fancy beauty um highlight stick i just love this stick like this is like my go-to highlighter. Like I use this all the time. It's just so nice and it gives you a nice glow. Like I love highlighter. Like, like I cannot go without it. It's a must. So now I'm using a um, Carly Bible um, palette and I'm just using a highlighter just going over the highlighter. Now I'm using the Ultimate Mascara by Mary Kay and I'm just going over my lashes. I guess I put, I messed up, I put too, I, I guess I used it too hard and it took all my eyelash, now I'm fixing it. So. So now I'm applying um, Mary Kay Lip Gloss in Sunbaked. And then now I'm using a NYX pencil over it in Rum. And now I'm going over top of that with a NYX matte lipstick in Mason.
All right, guys. So this is the finished look. Um, if you like this look, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.